Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on my channel. Today is another Twitch recording. Uh, this one is from one of my streams where I was reviewing Scented, Edgy and Commandment, the best low ground team in the world. Hopefully you can learn something from this guys. It's a bit of a longer video, but stick around to the end. Uh, the main thing about this video is me breaking down how they play low ground, which they're the best team in the world. At, as you can see, Scented's name is Low Ground King, so it's definitely worth a watch. Watch all the way to the end, hopefully you learn something, and yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Question to me, if we fight our spawn, can we afford to spend more time learning because we don't need to rotate early for surge? Yes. Yep. Just make sure, again, that the idea of clearing area, like basically playing to dead side to, to avoid getting in congested areas, that's still really important. So if you don't, sorry, if you don't, if you, um, if you fall off spawn, you have to worry about surge. Now your entire focus should be on isolation. Um, and if you sacrifice loot to get yourself more isolated, that's also a good thing. Man, the Lambo makes this shit fast as fuck, doesn't it? What the fuck? How have they got here so fast? Now I'm interested to see where they go to when they get here. Alright. So they pop to here. Is this a... Ooh, is this a good little search spot, is it? See, like that, this is, this is interesting. Uh, most people, most people get, do get their surge on, um, I might move this down a little bit. Most people do get their surge in second zone, but they have nothing except what they got on rotation. I need a slash a little bit. So, I don't know if their mentality is we're going to get a majority of our surge on second, so set up on the edge of second, let people rotate into uh, yeah, exactly like what they're doing here, right? So set up into an area that they think people are going to rotate past, and then look for tags. Fuck, I love, I love that thinking. Because a majority of people do this anyway. Or would have kept on rotating. They didn't do this anyway. Most people don't do this. There's a lot. But um, most people don't have this mentality. Is sort of what I was meaning. The only thing I'm not too sure about on doing this is that um, it's very easy for these guys to not only cut line of sight, but then to jump in the sand. But if these guys were uh, planning on tagging everyone in that fight, which they just did... 390 above there you go they worked really well so instead of going in into zone and sitting up on like some shitty bit of hill here they were like now nah, fuck it we're going to get rid of our surge now before zone starts to close on us deal with it and then we'll rotate again that idea of surge being the number one priority for them like fuck the rotation we need to sort our surge first that was literally what they just that's basically what their mentality was there So still happy to play edge here, eh? You're not seeing them push in very much. So what, the thing that I'm worried about, when I keep on meaning, when I keep on saying clearing congestion and getting, you know, clearing that, that area that's that you don't want to be in, I don't, this rotation out is much more difficult than if they made that, that movement in slightly further. Fuck off. <laughs> yeah, this is interesting. You don't generally see them looking for fights. See, this is what I'm meaning. Decide that this is what I this is what I was worried about. If they don't clear congestion, that idea of mats and meds, one of those two being wasted. If you don't use your mats, you're gonna be forced to use your meds. If you uh, use your meds, if you don't, yeah, basically the other way, vice versa. One or the other is gonna get wasted because you've got to clear yourself away from two, three teams, right? If you clear that earlier, but again, it. It's a huge balancing act, uh, you know. This whole the whole thing about being a professional is is knowing when to balance certain things. These guys decided earlier their priority was their surge. They stopped their rotation. They set up. They got three hundred and sixty above surge, but in doing that, they sacrificed the ability to clear that congestion. So again, it's that balancing act, and obviously, them to them, the priority there was making sure their surge was dealt with, which I agree wholeheartedly with. 
you just wonder if they had to stay for that long or or just um, found out cockfighting is done with chickens great 12 months of training wasted <laughs> zinc fm with the 100 bits thank you man i appreciate it i got no comment on what you said anyway as we as i continue rambling about congestion and clearing congestion and all that they've actually put themselves into a pretty decent spot for a third which is really nice <coughs> stolen joke but still good mate most jokes are stolen who comes up with a joke originally all right well 4x this they're in a pretty decent spot for, for fourth zone what's nice about this is that they've wasted not too many mats and if fourth is a worst case scenario say like here that rotation is not too bad. That rotation is actually okay. What's their mats? 129, 134, 135. So mats are still good. Uh, what's their meds like? So again, that idea of they had to sacrifice either mats or meds. Five minis. Yeah, they're, they're, their meds are fucking solid ads. So one thing that's important, if you're forced to sacrifice mats or meds, what would you rather sacrifice? You'd obviously rather sacrifice mats because you can easily refarm them. If your path involves going through an orchard, what material are you going to use? You're going to use wood because you can easily farm mats in an orchard by the fences, by the trees, you know, whatever. So that, that thought process, again, is really important. This idea of making sure you know what's around you. Simple, simple stuff. Don't sacrifice your mat. Don't sacrifice your meds. You can't get them back later, but you can get your mats back later. So use what's around you. All right. So fourth is about a pop. Let's see if they pull. They basically pull. So they'll be able to get in there really easily. Down the bottom. So they'll be in a night. They'll be in a pretty decent layer of condition there but the nice thing is it is split by a hill here so there'll be there'll be congestion but it will be pretty vertically split it won't be like team beside team beside team it'll be a hill and there'll be a team there'll be a team there'll be a team and there'll be a team so it's actually relatively spread out for the fact that it's um, quite congested there's generally some some sight lines they can they can use nice easy rotation for them to make championship will have height for free and they get in zone so again this time instead of getting through to central or forcing themselves further into central guys you let the hype train die out we only hit level no i'm kidding guys thank you so much for the scam train i appreciate it there we go so the axis over here is extremely congested um, but they stopped there, so they're happy to take that. Leave it there. Scammer. Guys, come on. Come on, we should have kept that scam train going. It's alright, we can we can get another one going later, that's fine. Alright, I'm just gonna forex this until uh until we get first moving popping. Alright, so everyone pulls. Yay, everyone pulls first moving. They can hold a nice edge the whole way along. Basically make sure they don't have to build out to their right if they follow this edgy. Harpoon, extremely meta. That'll be a huge reason as to why they have they only got three kills. or they, they basically came fifth with no refresh in first game. Is because they can look for refreshes without actually having to put themselves in the danger of taking a refresh. Um, this is the easiest way to get one. Is by going underneath one underneath someone three low three people shooting directly up at your floor you can't hold through that drop drop no beef down they take the dragon's breath dragon breath is so fucking good for low ground which is a, a huge reason as to i'm guessing why center takes it pop some peppers now instead of tarping there they cut themselves over to a really dead portion of zone go ahead make sure this is one thing i'm not a huge fan of actually catching up with um 
with bounces and first moving. I, I don't really like it, but this is one scenario where it's actually okay because they know it. they're going into dead space. I'm not talking about dead side, whatever. I'm talking about actual space that no one is in or no one is going to establish in. You need to make sure it's dead space. If it's not, you're going to get caught and it's game over. Make sure it's basically impossible for you to get caught. The way that they moved out, cut out twice there. They cut out twice there and then got a free... Free bouncer, that's fine. But you need to make sure, double check, triple check. Because if you get caught there, it's literally game over at first moving. And you probably want to say some extremely violent things towards yourself and your teammates. Fuck, I keep on doing that. Alright, playing to one side. They only have to worry about, they only have to worry about building to, to their left, like I said. This is the center, this is like classic center gameplay. Um, did this in FNCS duos as normal, holding one side, making sure he only has to protect himself from one side. 14 years later. Alright, vertical awareness, one thing that these guys are probably the best trio in the world at. As an incredible low ground team, if you're not vertically aware, it's wraps for you. Um, I don't know whose roles are whose, if, sent, if centered is the one who calls everything. I don't know if commandment calls this stuff out. But it's extremely important if you're a low ground dominant team, which of course these guys are, that you know exactly where zones are going in terms of verticality before they even start. So they got up there. If they didn't... If they don't get up there, they're going to be playing along here. And if a zone pulls up, you know, if they're playing along, like on the side of this mountain here, they're going to have to cut out and go up, or they're going to have to wrap around and get up. So instead of doing that, they are aware of that, and they just get all the way up the hill. They can look back and find refreshes that way. Right, pulls far, and they can basically get this for free. They know it's dead side. They know no one's around here. They know it's dead space. They can basically get that entire thing for free. Do you see how many tiles that was? They were there. That is one, two, three, four, five, six. Ignore that one. Seven, eight. Eight tiles they got entirely free. Now, if they're in that congestion, if they are down here, eight tiles of full builds is worth what? Say, if we're conservative, four Four builds per tile, eight fours, 32, 320 mats. That's nearly one third of someone's entire mats gone, or one fifth of, of more than one fifth of, of someone's entire mats, if they're cap, 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 gone in essentially what is 20, you know, five seconds worth of rotation. So being able to get eight tiles basically for free like that is so powerful. It's one of the reasons these guys are so consistent because if you can make little savings. Like, yeah, eight tiles, but if they make eight, eight tiles of savings here, and they make, you know, three tiles of savings in second moving, or in third moving, and say they made five tiles of savings in first moving, if you can understand where you can make savings on late game rotations, it really adds up. Eight, plus five, plus three, plus two, plus another three. You know, by the time you've done all that, you've saved 20 builds, which again, you add all that up. It really, 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 uh, or, you know, we're talking, eight, you know, 800 mats. We're talking four tiles or four builds per tile of rotation. Really, really adds up. So now it's just all about fundamentals for them, making sure they're staying ahead and they're always looking. So if you're centered and, and edgy, you want to always be looking. Make sure you're always aware of who's next to you, who's above you, who's below you. Constantly looking for damage. Find out if, or information, essentially. Damage is essentially information. Is that guy white? Is that guy blue? Are they healing? Keep your ears and eyes about you at all times. The fact that they're ahead means that they can... I've talked about this so many times, but I think it's an important point that very few people stress enough. They can use zone as a vertical, as like a pinch here. They're ahead. Zone is moving this way. This team has to move this way. So they're forcing damage this way, and zone's coming this way as well. There's a little pinch action going on there, right? So they're not setting up, they're not setting up a pinch with their own players with multiple um, fire, firing angles. They're setting up an, a, a pitch with Storm. 
And as a result of all that, you know, they help, they hold them for five seconds and all of a sudden they're caught back zone. They're forced to fight with, you know, shambles players back zone. The sort of action might not necessarily get you the kill, but it may lead to clearing the lobby out quicker. So when I say, you know, good teams are always looking for damage, again, they might not get the kill, but in the long run, it actually may work in your favor by clearing the lobby out quicker. A little bit over aggressive there for that, but that's all right. They, um, they're not going to get that res. Did they bait him? They just... Did they just bait him? I think they just baited that, right? Bro, he threw him back there and said, Here, here's your kill. You reckon? I don't know. I I doubt it. Surely not. Lovely tapping from Commandment. Look at how quickly that transition is. Always looking for damage. Again, that const that idea of just constantly out and back looking for something. The consistency is so impressive, man. You get that you get that one refresh and all of a sudden they're they're making it to top three with no no worries whatsoever. It's down to I don't think they make top two here. I think these guys out heal them. Or outlast them before um because basically Chip Teo and and Tab just create a vertical pinch, right? You got Chimp Teo and Tab shooting down on them, you got Acon providing damage, but being being the, the lettuce of the sandwich is, is not ideal there. You want to be the bun. I don't think Commandment clutches this out. No. Oh, they do make it to... They do make it to second. No worries, chubs. I need to spend more time on Instagram. I've, I'm very really on Instagram. I need to do more of it. All right, that was uh, that was that one. So nine kill third. Let's go, class.